I think going with the with the with the old scooter, being drunk every night, doing everything else under the bridge. My voice was always sick and I didn't know it. It's like I would go make a record and sing thinking I was a top performance and the whole time it wasn't. You know, after you clean yourself up a little while, four months down the road, your life changes. And with that, I think everything in you changes. So this little girl comes up to me and she's like, you know, she's telling me about her dad raping her and shit. And, uh, you know, it, it's just amazing that, that you know how how much that our music helped her out through that and i'm like how can anything help you out through that you know what i mean i don't know you know what music yeah it does suit the soul man but when shit like that happens it makes me feel so fucking it it just rips me apart and i'm just going oh my god man so we wrote this song for her It's like they're up there pouring their hearts out, you know. It's just so incredible how you can be down at, at your lowest moments, you know, and even at your highest moments, and you can take take their CD and relate to what they're saying. The song's called Compression. 22. 99 inside. 99 years old in my heart. <laughs> just accept everything and just let it go and just know that if you want your life to be good, then it can't be. What's up? Should I not use a sustain pedal? Yeah, go for it. Should I? Yeah, totally. Okay. We always interact with our fans and we try to be there for them. I just wanted to say, say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I guess that's really it. And I really do mean that. But the stuff that I hear, it's just, it's meaningless music. The music industry right now with all the bands and all the crap on the radio, that's what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? Doesn't give me that chill up my spine.